In this tutorial, we will begin the preparation for installing Ubuntu Linux onto the hard drive. One of the icons up here in the top half of the screen is an icon for the Firefox web browser. Now, if your computer is connected to the internet when booting this live CD, then it should be able to find that internet connection and you should be able to browse the web from within this live CD. Opening up Firefox displays just a local document. This is not a document on the internet. This is just a local document on the live CD. But clicking any of these links will take you to a web page on the internet. I would start with the community contributed documentation page. There are several pieces of information that you may want to read prior to installing Ubuntu Linux onto the hard drive. The first is in this Start Here section, clicking on Installation provides a series of documents and links on, on information and help on how to install the live CD onto the hard drive. Installation slash I386 is a link for some information on how to install the live CD onto a typical Windows PC. There's also installation help for AMD 64 computers and PowerPC or Macintosh computers. The installation slash I386 document is probably one that should be printed out and consulted while doing the installation. It explains each step of the installation process and explains what each option is. The installation process of Ubuntu Linux is very easy and very straightforward, but there may be some sections that require some further reading. Going back to the previous page on installation, further down at the bottom under Advanced, there are several other installation documents on how to install Ubuntu Linux through a variety of methods. There's also uh, related pages on uh, how to partition a hard drive, how to migrate from Windows, and how to switch from Windows. The most important thing that may need to be considered is the partitions on the hard drive. The Ubuntu Linux Live CD will do some partitioning, but it will have trouble with disk drives that are already full with Windows. So, the best course of action would be to use a third-party partition manager, something like Partition Magic or the Acronis partitioning software or the free G-parted live CD which can be downloaded and burned in the same manner that we downloaded and burned the Ubuntu Linux live CD and the G-parted live CD is a free and open source partitioning CD-ROM. It works very well in all operating systems that are PC based so it works in Windows and Linux. There's also information here on how to maintain a dual boot system, meaning a computer that can boot into Windows or Ubuntu, which can be done very easily with Ubuntu. This describes how partitions can be resized using the Ubuntu installer. Again, this can be done, and it does work, but one may want to consider preparing the partitions separately prior to installing the Ubuntu Linux Live CD onto the hard drive. But this document does provide some help on how to do the partitioning. A final point that should be made about installing the Ubuntu Linux is one of backing up the data. Please be sure to back up all data on your PC to an external media, whether it's CD-ROM or an external hard drive prior to installing Ubuntu Linux. Ubuntu Linux should install side by side and next to your Windows installation without disturbing it, but it's always a good idea to back up one's data prior to making a major change like that to the computer. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.